Medina man is suing Cleveland's Catholic Diocese, saying it did not do enough to protect him and others from former Strongsville priest Robert McWilliams. McWilliams died by suicide in February while serving a life sentence for sexually exploiting boys. Attorneys for that young man told our Sarah Shookman beyond his own suffering, he hopes to help prevent crimes like these against children in the future. He won't share his name, but attorneys say John Doe is sharing his story now in hopes of healing. My client was 14 years old and was on a social media website when an individual who claimed his name was Mike uh, contacted him and began uh, grooming him and soliciting him for sexual favors. Mike turned out to be a young Catholic priest, Robert McWilliams. They met in person on at least three occasions and uh, the priest uh, paid my client for sexual conduct. Did he ever come to police with these allegations? No, you know, he felt ashamed, um, felt guilty, and that's not unusual for a child sex abuse survivor. But criminal investigators found him after McWilliams was arrested in 2019 outside St. Joseph's School in Strongsville. The incident made up the first of eight federal sex crimes McWilliams admitted to in court. He was serving a life sentence when in early February he died by suicide at a federal prison in Pennsylvania. My client was happy that McWilliams was going to have to serve many, many years in prison, but McWilliams was too much of a coward to do that. The 19-year-old victim is now suing the Catholic Diocese of Cleveland, St. Joseph's, and current Bishop Edward Molesic for $1 million each in damages and calling for better controls to prevent future crimes. The diocese says it's reviewing the pending lawsuit, writing in part, it remains committed to creating safe environments for children. We reached out to the diocese before filing lawsuit, and uh, we asked them to help with our clients' healing. and. We were totally ignored. We'll get their attention this way. Kersher says McWilliams was able to use church property and equipment to lure his victims and that the diocese knew McWilliams was unstable and a threat to children before such crimes. Some of the victims who testified in the criminal case were church members who have also called for changes to stop abuse. But, Laura, this is the first civil lawsuit we've seen stem from the case. What an interview. All right, Sarah Shookman live for us tonight. Sarah, thanks.